Hey there, everyone. Welcome to GMB Gorilla. My name is Rody, and this is Ask the Gorilla. So today, I'm going to show you how to change the picture on your Google My Business profile, otherwise just known as Google Business Profile. It's pretty easy to do, so let's go ahead and get started. So you'll notice that, as usual, we're logged into business.google.com. All right, and that's how we can access the back end or the dashboard to our business location. So now that we're here, you can see from our last video that we've changed our business to a service area business because Funky Gorilla is now delivering bananas and no longer a location. So we're going to update some branding. So what we're going to need to do is update some photos. We're going to add images. So you can go down here to where it says photos on the left hand side and click there. Post photos and videos easily, select from existing media, blah, blah, blah. Got it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. Now, of course, it'll give you this verify thing on mine just because, well, we're not going to verify this is a fake listing. However, what we want to do today is we want to upload a logo and a cover photo. Now, the cover photo is what everyone sees, and the logo everyone would be able to see as well. So let's go ahead and do the logo first. Now, I've already prepared a few pretty decent images in Canva. Canva is a super uh, quick and easy way to get this done. Otherwise, you could use any image editing software like Photoshop or even MS Paint if you're feeling nostalgic. So let's click a photo here. Let's select a photo from our computer. And you can see that I've made my square. Now, remember, the logo should be square. You click Open. All right, you'll see there, it gives you an opportunity to adjust it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the frame that I created. So once that's all done, you can see it looks pretty cool. Then click Set Logo. All right, and just like that, it's done. Now we want to add a cover photo. So here's the thing about the cover. The cover needs to be in 16 and 9 ratio. I'll go ahead and leave that in the description. Um, it's going to be 1024 by 576 pixels, and that's the ideal that you want. Now you can do bigger as long as it's in 16 9 ratio. So let's go ahead and choose our photo that we've created. And again, I did this in Canva um, just to do it really quickly and make it look relatively decent. You can use any image editing software. Bam, look at that, looks cool. So here's our logo, we can click to see it here. Looking good, looking good. Uh, I think next time I'll use a higher resolution for this logo because you can see the aliasing here on the hat and on some of the letters, which doesn't look that great, but we can fix that later. And then let's check the cover. Ooh, yeah, cover's looking good. I used a higher resolution so you can see it pops out really nicely here. All right, so let's go back. And that about sums it up. Now, if you want to add, if you want to add extra photos, you can go ahead and click on the plus button here, and you can add photos the exact same way we did before uh, to your delight. So go ahead and do that for whatever relevant pictures you have. And other than that, we are all set. Now our photos are looking good. Our business is starting to come together. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.